Now, a WDSD News Center special report. Hurricane Sandy update. This morning, we have a couple of guests in the studio. We have uh, Gary Stockbridge. He's the president of Delmarva Power. Gary, thank you so much for braving the storm. Oh, thank you for having me. I, I very much appreciate it. And, and the message is, is very important today. Yes, so it is. So tell us, what's going on? What's happening out there right now? Well, this, you know, the storm, as we go through the course of the day, is going to make, make landfall. And the winds are going to start to pick up. Uh, and our key message today is about preparation. People really need to take this seriously. We're worried it's not only going to be a big storm, but it's going to it's going to go slowly over this region, which is going to extend the outages. You know, we we think this is going to go well into the weekend um, with a large number of outages. So we need people to really take the preparation messages uh, seriously, and that's why we're we're kind of partnering with the Red Cross as we go around town today to make our make our announcements. Um, it, it, it's not something to take lightly. So get themselves prepared. We've been doing that for about a week. We've been calling in crews from across the country. As far north as Canada, they're starting to stream into the area. We're positioning them as close as we can uh, to get them out there as soon as we can. But, again, with the high winds, it may be some time before we can even get out there. Definitely. Gary Stockbridge, he is the uh, president of Delmarva Power. You said this could go all the way into the weekend. So uh, with a wind event like this, and, and we've had several over the years here in Delaware, and we know that uh, Delaware does have some issues with uh, high winds because we're out on the water, and uh, we're not like some of those places that are protected by hills and mountains and, and various other things. What can someone do right now at this moment? Let's say they don't have a generator. Let's say that they don't have the wherewithal to sustain themselves without power for a week. What do they need to do, Gary? Well, uh, you know, the Red Cross has a tremendous amount of information about preparing kits, preparing plans, backup plans, uh, making sure they have, uh, you know, our number handy uh, so they can call in, let us know, uh, you know, what their situation is. Um, you know, basically preparing to be without energy or without electricity for, you know, up to a week, you know, so getting, getting themselves some water and some supplies. Uh, and, and I think, I think Pat will talk a lot more about some of the things customers can do around sheltering, getting ready, know where the shelters are and get prepared for that. Well, let's move on over to Patrick uh, Delaney. He is the uh, chief executive officer for, uh, uh, the American Red Cross. Let's talk about the shelters. They're all been open since noon yesterday. That is correct. How many How many do we have, uh, Patrick? In the state of Delaware, there are seven shelters. There are two in Newcastle County, two in Kent, and three in Sussex County. Okay. What do uh, people need to do if they're going to be bringing their family to the shelter? What are just some of the just straight basic things that they need to bring with them? Certainly. First and foremost, this is an evacuation shelter, so it is, it's, not, uh, uh, it's not a resort. Uh, mm-hmm. Folks should expect uh, for basically an indoor camp out. So please come prepared with bedding, pillows, blankets. Uh, personal items such as medications, any other personal effects they might need, reading glasses. If you have younger children, uh, formula, diapers, uh, certainly toys or activities for the kids. This is, will be a little crowded, uh, will be loud, uh, but we'll try to make it as light and fun as possible. Uh, but again, folks should prepare that they will have a warm, safe uh, place to stay throughout the storm. Uh, there will be food. Um, and they'll have some good times. Uh, but please bring their good humor with them as well. That's right. And if someone would like to uh, place a call to find out more information, is their website number some some place that they can go to? Certainly. Right now we're using activating the national system, so one eight hundred Red Cross would be a phone number for them to call, or they may go to redcross.org. dot uh, org. Within that, they can do backslash prepare if they are going to be sheltering at home. They can learn more about what to bring to a shelter. Likewise, they can also from that same site get information about suggested items to bring to a shelter. Okay, Patrick, thank you so much. Now, let's talk about uh, after the storm, when the storm moves through. Will there be a a website or someplace? um, uh, Gary, um, of course, we want to talk with you. Stockbridge, he is the president of Delmarva Power. Is there a website they'll be able to go to to get information? You don't Uh, want to be bombarded with a thousand million phone calls. (laughs) Well, Uh, absolutely. Not only do we have a website they can go to, and, and on our website we have an outage map, uh, but we also have an app. There's a Delmarva Power app. If, if, if folks have uh, phones that can download apps, uh, I'd suggest they go out and get the Delmarva Power app. They can not only monitor where the outages are and what, what the conditions are uh, for the company, but they can report outages through that application as okay. well. So, you know, we, we, we try to take not only the phone calls, but the apps and, and kind of integrate them all together and make sure we're getting as much information in as we can. You know, we're going to go through three phases here. Right now we're in the preparation phase. We've been in that phase for about a week. Uh, we're going to go into an assessment phase as the storm hits uh, and get out there and just try to understand where, where the damage is, what it is. That's going to take, could take a little bit longer than normal because of the winds and, and the, the size of the storm. You know, and then we're going to go into restoration. When we go into restoration, we're going to take care of, you know, kind of the, um, the um, uh, 
uh, what am I looking for? The uh, kind of large backbone part of the system first, plus public health facilities. Yes. Uh, we're going to take care of those first. You know, then we're going to be looking uh, as we, it's kind of like just, we, we equate it to snow plowing. If we, yes. if we plow your driveway, but the highway is not clear, it's not going to do you it's any good. It's not going to do so you we, any good. We start, so you take start, care start, of the business. You know, we start yeah. with the emergency, the wires down, uh, the public health type uh, issues and, and facilities. We then go into our transmission system, the backbone of the system, then our distribution system. Uh, and then last, last is going to be individual outages. And those are the customers that unfortunately are going to be last on and last in the priority. Um, so I just, I, I you know, uh, as, as Patrick said, bring your good humor to the shelters. I think if the more we can all kind of be patient over the next week, know yes. that we're all going to be working as hard as we can, and we're going to bring as many resources to bear as we can. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be a long outage, and we just want people to gear up for that. I know that uh, you know the power companies are coming from all over the region and the states, you know, several states away to help out. Oh, across the country, I think yeah, we have definitely. some coming up from Texas. Uh, Probably eventually Canada. Um, wow. You know, we've reached out across the entire country and as far north as Canada That's great. to get additional resources. Well, Gary Stockbridge, uh, president of Delmarva Power, and of course, uh, Patrick uh, Delaney, the uh, CEO of the American Red Cross. Uh, give out the American Red Cross number for donations because you know what? We may need some donations. Uh, absolutely. If you can uh, either call your donation at 1 800 Red Cross, you can donate online at redcross.org, or you could text the word Red Cross to 90999. 